Top story tonight, we are one step closer to a proposed pedestrian bridge yeah. connecting UT's campus to South Knoxville. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. The idea was first tossed around, if you remember, you were here back in 2009 as a way to develop the South Knoxville waterfront. But just last night, Knoxville City Council moved that project forward. WAT6 on your side reporter Dominic Webster spoke with community leaders about the proposal and joins us now here in the studio. Dominic. Yeah, that's right. After 16 years, the pedestrian bridge plan to connect UT to South Knoxville is one step closer to becoming a reality. City Council voted last night approving a plan to hire grant writers in the hopes of securing funding for the large project. Last night at City Council, uh, members of Council approved 8 to 1 the uh, hiring of CDM Smith to, to work as a consultant with the city and our other partners uh, on applying for some federal funds to help uh, start the pedestrian bridge that would connect the north waterfront and UT uh, over to the south waterfront. This project has been in the works since 2000 under the nine counties one vision plan. The idea is to connect the South Knox waterfront to the University of Tennessee. This ped bridge which was in the original vision plan now uh, has moved up to be really viable and there's an opportunity there. This approval has been met with some pushback asking for more public input and a statement from Janice Toker, a South Waterfront advocate, saying in part, quote, there has been no public meeting to inform the community of these plans or get feedback. Perhaps the city needs to be reminded that the best way to get people on the same page with a shared vision is to provide transparency through public meetings, end quote. This idea is that it came from the South Knoxville community. And so now it's time for the South Knoxville community to come back and say, this is how we want to do this. And right now, community leaders are in agreement that it is time for this development. The development takes time, and it's finally time, I think, to, to re-envision this idea. But it's important that the neighborhoods, the people that live there, have a say in how it gets done. Janice Toker also said that she has asked for those involved with the grant writing to come to a meeting on February 13th to engage with the public at the Crabella Temple from 4 to 6.30. Lori. Lori. All right, uh, Dominic, thank you so much. Now, we also reached out to leaders at UT, and while no one was able to talk on camera today, university officials did tell us they're pretty excited about this project. In a statement, they said, quote, there is an energy in the community about what is possible with a pedestrian bridge connector that will make South Knoxville's growing amenities even more attractive to students, university employees, local citizens, and visitors to Knoxville.